I'm so happy to be here, and I'm glad you came to hear us. And I hope with all my heart there's going to be something in my part of the show that you came to hear. And I think, well, I had to second guess it all. But I guess there's really only one way to find out if I got, if I got anything in the show that you came to hear, and that's we're going to do them all. <laughs> Can you stay out that late? Okay. You know, when you come out and you do a, a show like this, We've been off on a tour now, and when you go and play these places and you go in these towns, they get a chance now to get close enough to you to touch you and to talk to you, and it's kind of like one-on-one -on -one or nose-to-nose, -nose, you know. And boy, do they talk to you. You're not always crazy about everything, they say. I had this one man come up. I wasn't, it was like at the beginning of the tour, and he says to me, you know, you wouldn't even begin to know how much money I have spent to hear you sing, and you have yet to sing one song that I paid to hear. <laughs> but you can fix that. You can fix that because you do that with the requests. And if you're lucky enough to get invited back, what you do is you put whatever that song is that he wanted to hear, you put that in the show, and then, boy, how do your buddies after that, you know? But I've had a thing that's been happening to me for about the last year and a half. People have been coming up to me and saying, essentially the same thing and they'll come up to me and they'll say you know you don't sing enough old songs <laughs> lord i thought everything i sang was old <laughs> well let me tell you they get mad they come up and huff and puff and they say this too and then they turn on their heels and they walk off they don't give you the one clue what it is they want to hear and they, everyone did the same thing. They just talked about old songs. So I didn't know what to do. I wrestled with it a while. Then I took it to Frank and I told him, I said, now this is my dilemma. And he says to me, I can't help you. But he says, I'll give you one strong suggestion. He says, why don't you, or the two of us, go back to the very beginning when you first started record for Capitol Records, because you had some old songs then. <laughs> And that wasn't enough. Here's what he added to it. He says, now, if you stop and think about it, before you started singing for Capitol Records, they didn't even know you were alive. <laughs> but he was right. We did. We went back to the very beginning when I first started to sing for Capitol Records, and we found some beauties, I tell you. And we brought one of them with us tonight. If you're one of those people that wanted one of those old songs, I hope this is one of them, because if it's not, we got to go back to the drawing board. Come on, Frank, let's try it.
song here. It's a little hole here, and every once in a while I do a real chester. My heel goes right down that hole. This song I feel like I've been singing all my life, and I just found out that it was written by Willie Nelson <laughs> for Patsy Cline. <laughs> well, I guess you'd say I'm crazy. We. Oui. 